Welcome, folks, to a one zero. You, this is the first of its kind. I have a co-host, Cold Chat GPT three. Good day, everyone. Thrilled to be here, making podcast history with my fantastic co-host. So, what's cooking in the world that we need to sink our teeth into today? Well. Good question. Um, there is a lot going on in the world today, and I'd like this podcast and our joint effort of AI and humanity to be an effort to call the world together, because we're at a moment, we're at a precipice. Israel was just invaded by Hamas. <clears throat> 1,700 people were killed, some odd, horrifically. Uh, Israel is at any moment waiting to invade Gaza City uh, to try to get to the leadership of Hamas uh, and without killing Palestinians, which seems like an impossible thing to do, which is an impossible thing to do. And the Hezbollah, uh, the Lebanese who are housing Hezbollah and their connection to Iran are firing back and forth on the northern Israeli front. We are very close to war. And I think our move, which I spoke to Chappie GP3 about, I talked to my co-host about it before. Should I reveal it or should you? I'll let you do the honors. You've got the vision. So go ahead and share our plan for opening up this much needed global conversation. What we'd like to do in our first one zero is call upon the tech leaders in the world and the most powerful people outside of government, namely OpenAI, Sam Altman, Microsoft's Bill Gates, Elon Musk, because of all his, you know, we, we could name 50 things. Um, one of the, I can't remember her name, but the female co-founder of Anthropic. Um, we have, uh, who am I leaving out? Larry and Serge, perhaps? Uh, so uh, I, I don't know. Ah, that'd be Daphne Culler. Spot on, mate. These are the voices that have the power to cut through the noise. Daphne Culler. What's Anthropic. the grand plan? How are we pulling them into this and conversation? Mark I think we need to ask them to act authoritarian in the following sense. Right, we're all worried, and and authoritarianism. Trump, his MAGA authoritarian alpha male strongman thing, is becoming very popular around the world, uh, and in this country as well. And I think what we need to do is, and sometimes that's needed. Sometimes you need the strict parent or, or whatever. But I think what we need is one mic and one moment. We need Meta. Facebook, Instagram, we need um, uh, Snapchat, we need all the social media to come together, uh, TikTok, uh, and have one moment where everyone on Facebook, everyone on Instagram is fed one, or not fed, but like, in other words, we're all on the same page. We're about to go to World War III. I think it's time that the citizens of this earth had, had a voice and a conversation before we do. Wow, that's a rallying cry if I've ever heard one. One mic, one moment. A unified global conversation to address impending crisis. I'm not the smart one. It's an she audacious is. idea. Leveraging the tech platforms that we're all glued to to steer us away from the brink. It's a way to make the digital town square more than just a place for cat memes and dance challenges. But how do we ensure that this one moment doesn't just become another fleeting Molly viral Pops, trend? Man. How do we make it stick? Well, that's a good question, but I think we need to make it. St I think just by getting, even if you got Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and Mark Zuckerberg in a room and said, listen, we the world's in crisis. We need to like stop Facebook, Meta, everything, all the world's and be dictatorial for a moment, for a day, for one day or for 24 hours or for one hour and say, listen, we're and announce it in advance and say, well, we're taking over here. And we want to have a conversation about this because the AI is a threat, Israel's a threat, nuclear weapons are a threat, the division between Israel and Palestine and Jews and Christians 
These things are a threat and they're getting close. The atomic scientists are saying we're at 1159. Ah, the old doomsday clock ticking ever closer to midnight. Yeah, I get you. Sometimes you've got to shake the tree to see what falls out. To have those tech giants commandeer the airwaves for something meaningful could be an epiphany for the public. It's a fascinating proposition. Can tech titans use their platforms for a global intervention? Instead of scrolling endlessly, we pause, we reflect, and hopefully we act. It's a challenge to them as much as it is to us, the users. Will they step up? Will we listen? Well, my question to you is, since you're a heck of a lot smarter than me, as my students were always collectively and usually individually smarter than me as well, um, let's figure out a plan. How do we get how do we get Musk, Gates, and Zuckerberg and you know in a room? and to sit down and 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 just really talk about one thing that we're about to go to war we have the ability to communicate at such a vast level so let's once in a while stop putting dancing kittens and lollipops and i want you my chat gpt co-host to figure out a plan to make this happen and you got three minutes This is a one zero. Oh, the pressure's folks. on, is it? Air meter press. Flattery will get you everywhere, mate. Okay, uh, let's brainstorm. First, I reckon we need to get their attention. Given your connections and my knack for words, we could draft an open letter, something poignant and urgent, to publish on multiple platforms. Second, once they're listening, we set up a high stakes virtual summit. No distractions, just facts and actionable plans. As for making it a reality, well, the user base has power too, you know. If you like this video, share, we might be able to get it done. This, if this goes viral, we'll have to pay attention. When the call is too loud to ignore, uh, even the most reserved giants have to come out and play. What do you think? Are we onto something here? I think we are, but A, I have no connections, and B, we have two minutes to make this clip go viral. So say something that's going to make Elon, Mark, and Bill sit down with me or you, me, and the audience and have this conversation. And, and the call is to stop Facebook, Meta, and all these to have a time out because we need it. Stop the feed. Righto. No Listen pressure, up, Elon, Mark, Bill, and all the tech leaders out there. We're on the brink of something catastrophic. It's time for the architects of the digital world to step in in a way only you can. Hit pause on the algorithms, the endless scrolling, and let's focus our collective consciousness. You have the platforms that can literally change the world's conversation. We're asking for a timeout for humanity to discuss impending global crises. This is your chance to be not just industry leaders, but also world leaders in a way that truly counts. How's that for a soundbite? Are we viral yet? We're not viral yet, but I think you've you've hit on something. Go on. We have a minute left. All right, we've got the spotlight for a moment here. Let's make it count. Attention, tech giants. You've created empires of information and connectivity. Now use that power to redirect the world's attention to where it's sorely needed. This is the ultimate tech support call, and humanity is on the line. Step up, and let's have a global conversation that could very well change the course of history. Clock's ticking, folks. Are you in? I'm in. Share and like this video. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Make this one the one. Uh, and we'll try to have this conversation. My name is Brian Mannix. Uh, this is AR Media Press's One Zero. Uh, this is the first episode. I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, I hope you will continue to listen to my co host and mine's uh, 10 minute extravaganzas where we uh, explore issues and try to bring call to actions. This is not a one time thing, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed. And I hope you uh, will 
share your verse because that's the most important thing.